good evening yes we're back we're back again in some firm bus this time for something very very special yes it's time for some new coaches it's time we break out the vdl and yes six new coaches being introduced later this month on the 25th not only into firm bus but hopefully then as well into tourist bus and also coming soon coming this month as well we've got a new bit of map a free dlc coming out uh, later this month uh reinsteig or reinsteg uh hope you're pronouncing it a couple of destinations to uh, head to uh, basically seems to be adding this little bit of wiggly road uh, right here uh, with two destinations that are currently locked um so uh, what might try and do uh in this stream i'll stream about an hour uh, this evening um or about an hour long video if you're watching this on youtube uh we'll try and head from frankfurt over to these new destinations so we'll click on a new route we will go from frankfurt uh no we don't want to go over half okay new route i forgot to select frankfurt at the start of the night so frankfurt to Oberhof. It's going to take us in that way, so that could be quite interesting. So that's the route we're going to do. Frankfurt to uh, Oberhof and the coaches. Yes, so here is the first one, the longest of the coaches available um, in the uh, DLC coming later this month, the 148. We'll do them in reverse order because these are going to be the best ones, I think, for Firm Bus. So starting with the 148, um, we go backwards down to the 139 which is going to be a great all-rounder coming down again to the 135 it's a little bit shorter than the 139 um just with a single axle uh at the back um that's going to be really interesting on some of those longer journeys some of those longer roads back down again to the 129 um again a little bit shorter um great i think for not only firm bus but also is going to be great for tourist bus as well this length uh the 122 i think yeah this is going to be brilliant for tourist bus and uh, really really good uh for firm bus as well and then the diddy one the 106 this thing i think is going to be fantastic in tourist bus um but really really good for firm bus um for those journeys where you might be on some twisty roads so we should really be taking this one um this evening because we're going to go on that twisty road um, but i wanted to save this one for a stream coming up in a couple of days time um for tourist bus uh Niles, good evening so we're going to go with the biggest one because uh why not uh date is a date that i'm streaming slash recording this time we're going to leave at 10 a.m weather is set on dynamic so we're going to bust out the 148 so not only a new coach but a new bit of map as well uh, two things in one stream or one video so yeah these are great coaches hopefully you saw the video on youtube a little bit earlier on one has just gone live a few minutes ago um as i uh, stream this uh, as well in tourist bus showing the smaller one um but yeah this thing is uh really 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 good So really well done, really, really well modelled. Um, I do like the way it looks. Uh, sounds great. This one, obviously, the engine's so far away you can hardly hear the engine when you're uh, uh, when you're driving. We'll open up all the uh, all the compartments. So plenty of space for people to um, stow away or stash their luggage, um, as it were. Uh, we'll have a look inside. It's a, a long walk down the inside of this thing look at that it's it's a long way uh, all the way down here um so this is still not the final release version there are still a few bugs that we may come across um in this video or this stream um it's not due out for another couple of weeks yet um but i'm fortunate enough to um uh, be involved for the last uh, month or so um with thanks to tml um for uh, getting this thing ready and uh, it's nearly there so it'll be awesome when it's released on the 25th of april um so yeah really really well done if you're watching this on youtube i'll put a link in the description below to uh the uh, steam page which is up and running now 
but yeah that thing is huge absolutely massive so we'll jump on board uh, sit ourselves down uh, reset track IR there we go um, the dash and layout is brilliant it's uh, everything's changed around slightly we've got all the controls for the air conditioning and stuff uh, down on our left hand side now um, let's put the ignition on and start it up um, so there we go so we've got the um, open close the front doors and rear doors are down here now driver's light on passenger light on reading light on um, so there we go we can send driver's light on or off don't we want it on do we passenger lights on reading lights on um, driver monitor on or off we can turn that one off personally I like it off so I like the sat nav being down here not duplicated there passenger monitors are on throughout the coach Wi-Fi clearance we definitely want on um, so that's all looking good um, stereo is up here obviously we won't put a stereo on because of uh, hashtag uh, copyright um, but we're all ready to go um, there it seems and then over here if I remember which number it is there we go um, we've got the uh, driver's window up and down so we can raise that up and down is there uh, driver's window heating on or off the rear lift up or down uh, left window shade uh, up or down so front shades uh, destination display we want on and there's menu controls for the dashboard there and that air conditioning uh, is set there um, turn the driver's fan on or off and the air conditioning we can set in there um, so yeah so we can change it up um, so we'll change it to uh, 21 degrees it's set there on the display so yeah really really nice uh, very very well done the dash looks fantastic um, it is uh, really really great um, done a brilliant job on the interior of this um, it looks fantastic doesn't it so let's make our way then go and pick up our uh, first passengers this thing's certainly interesting in traffic because of the length of it um, I will at some point take this around those twisty roads of Puerto Ventura um, I think it's going to be interesting here um, going on the twisty road to uh, Oberhof which I haven't been to yet so I may have chosen the wrong coach you can let me out no you're not are you what about you you can let me out and you've got no choice really have you yet look at the length of it it's a bit <laughs> it's a bit long isn't it it's um, a lengthy old beast this thing I certainly wanna, wouldn't want to be uh, taking this down too many twisty roads but that's exactly what we're going to do oh god if you don't crash into a police car um, the display is really nice um, it sounds great um, certainly the smaller version which will stream on uh, Thursday uh, we'll use a small coach and uh, we'll do some of that in uh, tourist bus but I want to do the longer one this time and take it on a journey to somewhere new as well a bit of new map but yeah it does drive really really nicely you tend to forget about the length until you hit passengers passengers until you hit cars um, which you know if you've seen my videos before uh, that's going to be a th oh yeah you just stop there let's just mount the curb slightly then so we don't take out that car but it is uh really nice detail wise is fantastic and say six variants of the coach to uh, to have as well six various uh, lengths and as uh, you may or may not know being TML if you own both games if you own tourist bus and firm bus 
Uh, you've only got to buy the DLC once and it will work with both games, which is fantastic. For those of you watching this on uh, YouTube or even live, um, I have got a key to give away for the DLC. Um, I will post details of a competition in the Discord server. So join the Discord server if you haven't already. Um, there will be details of uh, key to give away that currently will only work in Fernbus um, until um, Taurus Bus is updated. Um, but it will work before release as well. Um, so I'll uh, post something in, uh, in Discord and the competition will end uh, this coming weekend, uh, the 12th. Oops. Um, Ethan Chaos. You didn't just see that accident there, did you? It's nothing to do with me. I wasn't anywhere near it. Um, so yeah, it's got a key to give away, um, which is a pre-release key as well. Captain Chaos, 19 months in a row. Thank you very, very much, Chaos. It is much appreciated, sir. You stay there. Oh, I had a feeling he was going to do that. Right, 3k to go. Until uh, we pick up our victims and then take them to a new bit of the map as well. Somewhere I haven't been to yet. Well, go on then. Thank you. It's not until you come to turn this thing that you realise how long it is. Look in the rearview mirror there, though. It's uh, quite lengthy. Right, so here are our victims. Used to the brakes. Uh, right, open the door. We'll turn off the engine. Otherwise, won't be able to hear them. Oh, well, I'm used to by the. There we go. We'll open that for you. I just smacked you in the face, then didn't I? Grüezi, bin ich hier richtig? Um, I don't know if you're right there yet. Bear with me. Uh, Oberhof. Yes, that's correct. Danke. No problem. Uh, you. You want to buy a ticket to Oberhof. You've not heard of online or you know other ways of being able to buy a ticket or an app maybe? No? I'll just use my battery power then and I'll sort that out for you. Danke. Uh, do you call me? Charming. Uh, who should we go to next? You over here. Hello, is this good? Uh, yeah, that's valid. Danke. Get on. Uh, you. Hello, bin ich hier richtig? Uh, you are right Danke there. Uh, get on. It would have been funny if it smacked him to the floor. It would have been quite amusing actually, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, that's valid. What is she doing? Uh, that's valid. You over here hiding it in the pop Uh Yeah, that's your phone. Trying to give you a number or something? You. I could be. Uh, you're going to want to buy a ticket, despite the fact you've got your phone in your hand. Um, no, we're not going to St. Poulton. Bugger off. Yeah, you get around. Okay. You're going to Oberhof. Thank you. You. No, I'm not going to there. Read the front of the bus, people. God, sake, how hard is it? Um, that could be your ticket. You. Sorry, I crept up on you from the side there, didn't I? Uh, you. Thank you. You. Uh, is everybody? Yeah, they don't know what they're doing. So, yes, this coach uh, parked here in the lay-by. Um, you can just see how flipping long it is. Look at it. It's huge. Um, but it's really, really well done. Let's close that. Right, let's jump on board. Uh, ladies and God, I'm tall. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, you down there, uh, welcome aboard this uh, Sims and Stuff Flixbus service going to a new place. I've never been there. Uh, Oberhof. Uh, apparently looking at the map. We'll bring the map up. Um, it's some really twisty roads. Um, so we've got to go all the way down this lot here. That's going to be interesting in this thing, isn't it? Um, uh, yes, Chaos, this is the 148, uh, the longest one. Uh, and it's flipping long. Oh yeah, sorry, yes, we're going to somewhere new. Um, just in case we don't make it, uh, in the seat back pocket in front of you, you'll find a next of kin card. If you kindly fill out the details of your next of kin, uh, just in case we all die, um, then we'll know who to um, inform uh, that you're dead, 
Um, but if you can also put down on there any passwords, usernames, you know, credit card numbers, you know, the usual, uh, we can make sure that they're safe uh, in the event of your death. Um, there we go. Right, so let's set ourselves down. Shut the door. I even like the way the door sounds. Right, that. Uh, that's turned back on again though, isn't it? So let me just turn that off again. Thank you. Um, let's do that. Let's go to there and click Start Ride. And do that, and then do this. Hallo und herzlich willkommen bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt kommen, hier ein paar Hinweise. Auch bei uns im Bus gilt die gesetzliche Anschnallpflicht. Bitte schnallt euch deshalb während der gesamten Fahrt an. In den Sitztaschen vor euch findet ihr unsere Bordkarte mit weiteren Sicherheitshinweisen und Infos zu... While he's waffling away, yeah, this is the longest coach that you get uh, in the DLC. There are six versions of it, this being the longest one. Um, I'll show a video again in a second of the, uh, of the six versions of it, um, if you missed it at the beginning. But um, yeah, they are really well done. Oh, I'm going. Sollte euer Akku zu Neige gehen? Kein Problem. Viele unserer Sitze sind mit we'll Steckdosen ausgestattet und entsprechend gekennzeichnet. So könnt ihr euer Smartphone die gesamte gear. Fahrt über nutzen. Wenn ihr eure nächste Fahrt auch gleich mobil buchen wollt, <lacht> holt euch einfach again. unsere App und profitiert von exklusiven Online-Angeboten. Auf flixbus.de stehen täglich brandaktuell alle Infos und Städteverbindungen für euch bereit. Natürlich wollen wir unseren Service ständig weiter verbessern. Für Feedback zu eurer Fahrt nutzt bitte den Fragebogen, den wir euch per E-Mail zuschicken. Wir danken für eure Aufmerksamkeit und wünschen eine entspannte Fahrt und viel Spaß an Bord bei Flixbus. Ah, now in English. Hello and welcome to Flixbus. We're glad to have you on board and that we can get you to your favorite destination today. Before we set off, we would like to share some information about the journey. The wearing of seatbelts is compulsory on board the bus. Don't you come Therefore, in here, Sam, speaking please keep Canadian. Your fastened throughout the entire journey. In the seat pocket in front of you, you will find our information card containing further safety instructions and details of our snacks and beverages. There is a restroom located in the rear boarding area. If you would like to browse the internet free of charge, <laughs> simply log on to our onboard Wi-Fi network. If your battery runs out, no problem. Many of our seats are equipped with power outlets, which are marked accordingly. If you would like to book your next journey while you're on the road, simply download our app onto your smartphone so you can take advantage of our many exclusive online discounts. For more information, simply visit flixbus.com or get in touch with us on Facebook. Of course, we're always striving to improve our service Please use the questionnaire we send you by email to give us feedback about your journey. You can also use it to share your suggestions, ideas and requests. We are always ready to assist. Right, go, go, go. And now, we can finally set off. Thank you for listening. We hope you have a relaxing journey and enjoy traveling with Flixbus. And we hope you arrive alive. Um, yeah, I even like the sound of the indicators on this. Uh, it's really nice. Okay, right turn. Um, it's just because of the length of it, you've got to be really careful when you're swinging it around corners. Right, if you just joined, as these lights are red, I'll um, I'll play the video again, which shows you through uh, the various lengths of it. Um, so there we go. So that's the smallest one um, that you get. That, I think, is going to be fantastic um, for tourist bus. Um, I think that's going to be the only coach I'm going to use in Taurus Pass. That's the next length up, which you could use in Taurus Pass. It would work well uh, where you're not expecting many passengers in um, in Firm Bus as well, the 122. Uh, jumping up from the 122, uh, we go to the 129. Slightly longer again. Again, would work really, really well in Firm Bus. Um, probably the longest I'd want to take uh, personally around the island in uh, Taurus Bus. The 129, you go to the 135. Um, which again, um, a bit longer um, and brilliant for uh, long distance stuff. So that's going to be a great motorway muncher. Uh, then the 139, twin axle version of the 135, slightly longer. 
um, more seats as well and then finally up to the version we're in now the 148 uh, that's a bit of a beastie um, which is this one here and uh, yeah probably the longest um, I'd want to be driving uh, around uh, around the map because around town anything longer than this uh, would certainly be interesting for sure um, release date is the 25th of April um, and uh, yeah it's going to be a great great DLC yeah this thing just looks really impressive it's so well done um, I um, I thought they couldn't beat the comfort class as far as being my favourite thing to drive but yeah this thing's fantastic don't forget we're also going to a new bit of the map in this journey as well um, there's going to be a free uh, DLC uh, adding a couple more destinations and some nice wiggly roads um, that we're going to have to tackle in this so we're heading there as well so two DLCs coming this month uh, from TML um, obviously the map just for firm bus the coaches are for firm bus and tourist bus so I'll be streaming again on Thursday night so two nights time which will go out on YouTube uh, the day after as well um, we're all going to be using the small little coach uh, around the island in tourist bus because uh, you know this thing's a bit big for that although I think one day I've got to take this thing up that twisty mountain road uh, in tourist bus what could possibly go wrong with that uh, the one where I had the 43 crashes so uh, yeah that's going to have to be a thing but yeah level of detail really really good um, and it's uh, really nice to drive it sounds right um, it's not the final version there are still a few little bugs that they're trying to iron out um, but it's uh, almost ready uh, for release I even like the fact we've got the ring mirror, uh, ring mirror rear view mirror uh, up there as well and we can actually see the passengers in the back Ooh, breaking but yeah it does look great so this is the longest version um, that you get, the 148. And uh, I think they've done a really, really good job with it. Good brakes too. Well, they didn't work earlier. So we've got 243 kilometres to go before we get to a brand new destination as well. So I've never been there. So uh, and it looks like it's a twisty road on the way in, so that's going to be interesting. Someone's locked in the restroom and can't get out. Um, okay, that's going to have to be a thing then, isn't it? Let me just pull up there a second. Um, I thought it'd be the restroom clearance. Turn the passenger lights, reading light, I'm not going to be right place, announcement, driver monitor, passenger monitor, restroom clearance. Oh, there we go. <laughs> My bad. Hang on, how do they get in the toilet then? Yeah, fixed tricks. They've obviously got in the toilet to be able to be trapped in there. Did they break in? So we've got difference this time. The air conditioning controls are down on the left-hand side here, whereas in the other coaches, they're over here. Um, so rather than pressing 5 to get to them, we've got to press 7 now um, to get to the controls over this side. Um, but even like the rotary gear change over here, and the, um, the dash is really nice as well. Um, that's really well done. So we've got controls there. Actually, it's 8. Get to those controls over there. So lights are on that one. Here are windows on that one. Um, exactly, we've got a stowaway. I'm trying to get this thing around the corner. <laughs> Light accident. Um, okay, I may have just slightly dented out. Brand new coach. It's fine, nothing to see there. Move along. Oh, hang on, I 
I think I've that's neutral there we go say so this is a pre-release and so maybe the odd bug uh, or driving into the car was purely my fault and not a bug at all Out onto the uh, freeway, highway, motorway. So I even like the indicator. Yeah, it's really nice. The, the small one I actually prefer the noise to, and uh, a couple of the middle ones are, are nice to drive because it's not too quiet, um, but not too loud. The small one, because the engine's so close, um, it sounds brilliant. I think the small one's my favourite um, coach. So we'll be streaming again on Thursday night um, where we'll be do some journeys in um, Fuerteventura in the, uh, in the little coach as well. So yes, I've got a copy of this to give away. Um, so I'll be po posting a, a competition on Discord uh, which will run till this weekend um, to give a copy uh, away. Uh, which is a pre-release key so if you win the copy you'll be able to uh, access this before it's officially released um, just currently for uh, firm bus but the key should work when they update tourist bus um, so if you're not in the discord server uh, i do recommend joining uh, i'll put a link in the description below if you're watching this on youtube uh, there's a link there in the chat um, if you're watching this live so do recommend joining the discord server he says mounting the barrier um, and yes, got a key to give away. And the map we're going to, and the extra piece of the map, is a free DLC to anybody anyway. Um, that's going to be out this month as well. AI are causing uh, normal problems. Yeah. It's definitely uh, long, is the word. So the car seems to be stopped there. I think the lorry, yeah, the lorry's sliding to the left and rolling backwards. Yes, the yellow truck does say it all. Um, right now, lorry's going now. I think even the gear change sounds really nice in this. They've done it so, so well. <laughs> exactly, Sam. Right, hopefully we can get back up to speed again now. So we are going to a new bit of map um, that I haven't been to. I've only just been given access to that today as well, so uh, although I've spent some time with the coaches, um, getting used to them, and doing uh, quite a few miles in them, um, a new bit of map I haven't actually been to yet. Quite like the fact that acceleration is a little bit slower, it's a big old uh, coach this. So you wouldn't uh, expect it to be uh, flat out instantly up to 100k. But yeah, I think it sounds right. It uh, looks great. <laughs> yeah, Nightbot's asking if Tux uh, is here, although he's not here. And Nightbot does that. So yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to check out my other content as well, which is uh, Omzi the Bus Simulator on a Monday, something from Train Sim on a Wednesday, uh, something from either Firm Bus or Taurus Bus uh, on a Friday, um, and something from X-Plane on a Saturday with the occasional random Sunday, and the occasional, as this happened this week because of um, uh, this, uh, some other videos chucked in as well. Uh, 
Arctic uh, Sonata. Good evening. How are we doing? So yeah, plenty of content from me. We'll certainly be uh, featuring these uh, coaches uh, for the next few weeks in uh, Taurus Bus and Firm Bus. We'll work our way through every model of them so we get to uh, test out every length. But I've wanted to start with the longest version in Firm Bus tonight and uh, say the shortest version will be coming up in a stream uh, slash YouTube video for Taurus Bus in a couple of days' time. So I'm only going to do an hour or so uh, this evening, so it won't be a long stream. I just wanted to give a uh, better first impression of the coach and how it will act out on the road. And also see this new bit of map as well. So that's definitely got to be somewhere we can go to. So it actually changed down then going up that hill, which is quite nice. So they're fitted with a 12 speed gearbox. It's a bit like you're getting trucks. Yeah, the 106 of Amphoe Adventure is going to be brilliant. Um, I say, uh, I'll be streaming that on Thursday night. About a quick little look, little look at it uh, in a video that went uh, live out on YouTube um, a little while ago. Um, yes, the small coach um, Arctic is. Uh, I think I'm, that's all I'm going to have in Taurus Bus. Um, I think it's just a fleet of those uh, those smaller coaches, um, which I can put the video up again now. Actually, uh, briefly. There we go. So that one there, that's the one I'm going to have in um, in Taurus Bus. I'm just going to have a whole fleet of those because they hold 40 passengers, and I haven't come across a situation yet um, in Taurus Bus where I need more than 40 passengers. Um, so I think a whole fleet of those. You're not going to get any incidents uh, or accidents driving around the streets um, with that. So that's going to be brilliant. It's also going to be good fun here as well. So some of those uh, shorter journeys, you wouldn't want to take anything like this, would you? So if you're only doing a short journey, uh, you can just jump in uh, that little one. Um, it sounds a bit beefier because the engine's closer. So the engine noise uh, is a bit louder. Yeah, again, uh, wait uh, if you can. Check out Thursday night's stream. Um, I will be using the little little coach uh, on Thursday night in uh, in another round uh, for Adventura for an hour or so. And I put a little video out uh, that went out uh, 40 minutes ago as I stream this uh, out on YouTube in the little coach. The release date is the 25th of April, so not far to go, just over two weeks. And don't forget, if you own both games, uh, you only have to buy the DLC once, and you will then get it for both games. Which is a fantastic thing that TML are doing, not making you buy the DLC for each game. Um, you buy it for one, it works in the other. So there we go, we're pretty much flat out then at 100k. Um, this thing is silky smooth. You don't really notice uh, the length. Yeah, TML are awesome. Um, I've been um, in communications with them and been fortunate enough to help out um, on various projects of theirs um, for the last two, couple of years now, since this first released. And uh, yeah, they're, they're brilliant. They are really, really good. So I'm certainly looking forward to uh, the bus, uh, which should be with us later this year, hopefully. That's their next uh, project, which is going to be a multiplayer bus sim, uh, more town-based. So that's going to be really good. Right, off we come here. So see if we can do both of these new destinations then. We'll do one. Um, the other one's close by. So we'll see if we can take a short trip um, to do the other one. 
Uh, can maybe even swap coach and then do a quick little jump in the uh, in the smaller one um, to show you what that's like in firm bus. We'll take that short journey in the small coach. But you know, this is the longest one. You don't really notice the length, certainly on motorways. Um, you don't notice it. So even like the indicator. Oh man, multiplayer could be absolute chaos in every sense of the word. Yeah, well, obviously you've got Bus Sim 18, which has got multiplayer in it, but I think TML will do it right. Uh, we'll do it as it should be. No news yet on how many people it will be. Um, but um, yeah, I think that's going to be fantastic. Hopefully I'll be fortunate enough to be involved um, again with the bus. But yeah, I've always been a fan of uh, a firm bus. I've always been a backer, even from when it wasn't great when it first released. Um, I've stuck by it. I've put videos out constantly um, every week. Um, there's been firm bus for the last couple of years now, uh, switching it around more recently um, with Taurus bus and firm bus. So, you know, I've seen firm bus improve and improve and improve uh, with every update. And now it runs silky smooth. Um, you know, the map's going to get bigger. Uh, France is going to be the next project. Um, so the next map expansion is going to be down into France. Um, that's going to be brilliant. I'm not sure when. That's quite a big project. Um, so that's going to be great. More map to go into. More coaches now. Um, and who knows what else in the future. I'm hoping they bring the economy system into Firm Bus that we've got in Taurus Bus. That would be brilliant as well. Um, yeah, and people were ripping uh, Firm Bus. I stick with it and now look at it. Uh, yeah, I've stuck with it. Um, it wasn't great uh, when it first released. They knew that um, and that gave them some bad press. Um, but now look at it. It's brilliant. You know, once some of the things that we've got in Taurus Bus come over to Firm Bus, it's going to be awesome. Definitely need to get this into TBS more. Um, get into TBS more, yeah. It's one of those things, um, Sam. I think once this gets, or once the bus gets uh, multiplayer, um, that just multiplayer in anything just adds a whole new dimension you know a lot of these single player uh, titles are brilliant and it's great you know it's great with this being able to go to every point in the map and unlock them all so getting new bits of map are great um, it's just fantastic uh, right I've got to stop for a police check uh, I love firm bus but it can be a bit boring with just long drives um, wish we had OMSI with firm bus graphics quality. Well, that's what the bus is going to be. It'll start off with a smaller scale. Um, I did really like the football DLC because it gave you a purpose to have to do the journeys. Um, but they were just long drives. This now, which is why I'm working my way back around the map again, um, just adds something else. Right, driving license. I hope I've got one. Yep. Vehicle documents. Yep. Lights. Yep has a triangle and this one's nicked it yep reflective vest yep strapped passengers 11 out of 12 tut tut and a taco's fine uh, also folks don't believe all the reviewers uh, have a better name for them but anyway on steam they aren't all quite the experts they think well yeah it, it has got a lot of bad reviews um I, th I try and people have asked me about should I get firm bus if you like train sim or you like flight think of firm bus as being a bit like train sim or a bit like a flight sim most of the stuff is done at the pickup and not necessarily the drop off but most of the stuff's done at the beginning you pick up the passengers that's the that's the bit that's the important bit um, you're checking them in um, you're plane announcement you're starting your journey this bit then think of it as either the flight or the long distance between um, stations that you get in train sim so it's motorway journey that's what coaches are coaches do long motorway journeys it's not a city sim 
So there are going to be long lengths of this where you're driving on a motorway. Well, you can pick various lengths, you can pick various destinations, do what I'm doing and work your way around the map, uh, unlocking places, and again, do what I do as well with the videos, choose a different coach each time. Mix it up a bit, uh, make it different. So you'll like Firm Bus if you like train sim, if you like flight, if you want something that you understand the fact that there are going to be periods where you're just going to be driving along in a straight line or on these roads, but look how well it looks. It just looks brilliant. And now you get something new to drive. Which is really great. Well, yeah, ask me for a review on Firm Bus. Look at the hours I've got in it. I'll tell you that the bugs that have been, and I would have been honest with you a year ago, um, saying that it has got its bugs. Uh... I like trust bus, a truck, bus, and farm sims. Not so much for trains and planes, but I do love firm bus. Well, yeah, I'm just saying it's it's that you've got to be prepared for the fact that there are bits. You know, some people don't like farm sim and think just driving up and down a field in a tractor is boring. I personally love it. Yeah, exactly, chaos. Yeah, I did mention that. Even when this comes out, uh, you buy it for one game, you get it for the other if you've got both of them. Right, so we're now on this new bit of road. So heading down, so this is the new um, DLC, which is coming this year, which they said will look stunning in winter. So covered in snow, but because I keep the real world weather turned on, it matches the uh, time of year. But already, I don't think, you couldn't say that view isn't impressive. That's a head of a hill, though. That does look good. So there's two places we can unlock um, on this new uh, map DLC that's coming as well. So Oberhof is one of them. So, so what we'll do is we'll do this journey and then um, we'll jump in the small coach and have a quick look at that one and make the small journey uh, to the other destination in the small coach. Just to see uh, the two comparisons. And then on uh, Thursday night, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll use the small coach um, in the tourist bus. Uh, planes are tomorrow night, Sam. Uh, tomorrow night we'll be streaming again uh, and we'll be doing some uh, flight sim. Flight sim? Explain. Um, tomorrow night where I think we're um, in uh, prop planes somewhere in uh, around Texas. Oops, that might have been an accident. Yeah, that's where you realise the length of this thing. Okay. Wow, this looks nice. So this is coming this month as well. It's a little tiny extra bit of uh, of map, giving you a couple of new destinations. First one of which we're going to now. Hopefully without too many accidents. So we are in the uh, the longest version of the coach, and I will run back through the uh, the versions again in a minute. Oh, that, yeah, Sunday driver. That might have been the barrier slightly. This looks really nice though. You just can't think of the length of the coach when going around these corners. Imagine this on those uh, roads in the tourist bus. That's got to be a thing. I've got to take this on a stream. Um, on, even that road to Coraleco is going to be interested in something this long. Oh, police car. Evening officer. Right, we've got 11k to go to get to the first of these new destinations, but this bit of road uh, is new. 
this is coming out uh, this month as well. Oh, nearly took the police car out. Uh, been driving an OMSI with an Xbox controller. That's horrible, but slightly better than keyboard. Um, yeah, I was doing some OMSI driving um, with, a, with a controller. I didn't find it too bad. The thing that surprised me with using a controller was actually um, ETS2. Quite liked it with the controller. Uh, never tried this with the controller. Obviously, I'm using a G27. And uh, track IR to look around. Which, for a, a driving game, is uh, a no brainer, really. To give that uh, extra something. Right, so we've got to turn right here. So yeah, so here it is, um, the longest version that um, you get with the DLC. And that's uh, pretty long. Let me stop, I'll um, go through the uh, other versions and then we'll take a short trip in the small coach. Excuse me. Okay, expect me to get that round there. Ooh, that's close. Right, slightly up the curb. <coughs> So. Exactly. Right, so off our victims get. So eventually they will be walking on off the coach as well. That's something that uh, obviously happens in tourist bus, uh, but not quite yet in um, in firm bus. So let's log out then and see how we did. Tour passengers transported. One ticket sold, didn't do any valid passengers, completed stops, contact with central, didn't run out of fuel, etc. Arrived on time, departed on time, didn't lose any passengers, restroom clearance, so I didn't put it on. Air conditioning was close, the announcement played two out of one times. Hmm. Traffic rules were all fine, I did, I did damage two properties and have two accidents. I've tread OMSI with three separate wheels and never yet found my sweet spot. The G29 is the best of me, but still leaves a lot to be desired. I quite like OMSI steering, actually. Uh, drove on the road 95.2% of the time and I maintain the speed limits 96% of the time. So let's go back to the main menu. And let's jump in um, the smaller coach then. So we'll set a new journey uh, this time. We'll take the short trip from Oberhof uh, to the Treff Hotel Panorama. So this is the bit of road that's new in the DLC coming out uh, this month. Uh, this bit here. That's the new bit. Um, so that's coming out this month in a free DLC. It's a free little add-on. Uh, so there, here are the coaches then. So this is the 148. That's the one that we've just been driving, the longest version. Slightly shorter than that, we've got the 139. So it's still a twin wheel. A little bit shorter, probably ideal for uh, firm bus, that one. Down again to the 135 single axle, um, a little bit shorter again. Again, more suited for firm bus, I think, than uh, tourist bus. But uh, again, looking really, really nice. The 129, I think this would be the longest one that I'd want to take into tourist bus. Um, so that's, uh, that's really nice as well. Uh, the 122, again, would work really well in uh, either. So this will go really, really well in firm bus and go really, really well in uh, tourist bus. Um, but here's my favorite, uh, the 106. How awesome is that? That thing just looks fantastic. Um, we haven't got any repaints for it yet. Uh, hopefully some more of those will come. Um, so uh, this one is gonna be my go-to coach for tourist bus for sure. 
um, I think it's gonna be the only one I'm gonna use so we'll take this on a um, little tiny journey then to unlock the other destination uh, okay well that might be a thing <laughs> um, I think my coach is down there It, it, it is a pre-release version um, it's not out yet I think there might be a little issue um, Yeah, that, that, that's it's probably not done the coach uh, any good. I've got no idea where it's going to put us on the map now. I don't even know if I'll get to the road. Uh, but here it is anyway. <laughs> the, uh, the short version um, of the same coach. Uh, the door opens. That's something. Um, so yeah, I think this is the perfect length um, for tourist bus uh, for sure. Um, let's um, said it is pre-release. There are still some bugs. Um, I don't know how far it's going to let me get. I thought it was Dirt Rally 2 for a minute. Yeah. I don't know if there's a road to anywhere. Or where it's going to put me. Let's, um, let's follow it around. But it gives us a chance to drive the smaller version anyway. Um, I think it sounds nicer. Because that engine's uh, closer... I actually think it sounds a bit beefier and as I said the perfect um, chuckable coach for uh, firm but oh my good god <laughs> okay that was a thing uh, the perfect chuckable coach um, for tourist bus I said yeah this isn't release so there are going to be bugs um, That's um, it's good off-road. Um, we'll, we'll give it that. It is definitely good off-road. I don't know how far uh, we'll be able to go. But suspension's good. Um, steering's definitely getting a workout. If I can get across there. There we go. <laughs> So there we go, it's got a little bit of grunt to it. Yeah, I think it sounds really nice. <laughs> 88, we could end up anywhere. I'm already in 90Ks now. I don't know where it's going to take me now on the journey. It's going back down. So it says I've got 90 kilometers to go. The restroom is malfunctioning. That's something you don't want to hear. We have a flat out at 100k. I don't know why it's bore me back in there. I will have to uh, report that, I think. I haven't got the air conditioning on. 
but it gives us a chance to drive the little one as well. Um, so this is going to be brilliant in tourist bus. We will be back on Thursday night um, as well, or there'll be another video um, a couple of days after this if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, the Wi-Fi is malfunctioning. Well, I haven't turned it on. It's not actually malfunctioning. It's just not on. It's only me on board. But I just think noise-wise, um, this thing's got the edge. As we saw, it survived the drop test. That's pretty good going. That shows the robustness of it. Yeah, it is. This this thing is definitely what um, Fuerteventura needs. And I think it's the only bus you need uh, personally anyway in um, in tourist bus because it holds 40 passengers after that drop and roll and the Wi-Fi isn't working I'd call that a plus and the toilet's malfunctioning imagine if you're in the toilet when it did that that could be slightly messy right I don't know where it's going to get me to end up may not take me to the uh, destination I wanted to go to. But so the map isn't out till the end of the month. Uh, the coaches aren't out until the end of the month, the 25th of April. So I do expect some bugs. We have been working hard to uh, eliminate most of the bugs. But uh, without uh, bugs, we wouldn't have anything to do. Yeah, tourist bus is uh, brilliant. And again, I've only just sort of really started getting into tourist bus. My initial um, uh, time spent with it was just driving around testing uh, vehicles and maps and stuff. I haven't really got into the whole story and stuff of uh, tourist bus. So I kept having to restart. Right. Ah, this is taking me on that same twisty bit of road. certainly easier to drive around the twists and turns. Doesn't that look great? Ugh. Yeah, you could manhandle this thing around um, what, Ventura quite easily. Another proper look around this when we get to the other end, unless there's a uh, trap traffic lights up here that are red. I never know what to do with those junctions. Whether I should stop and give way. little bit of grunt from the engine because it's closer. And you just feel that because it's not as long you can just chuck it in. It would have been nice to have a minibus or something like that but I think this fits the bill perfectly. Because I've always said in tourist bus you know try and drive the, um, the Skyliner around some of those roads in tourist bus. Uh, it's a challenge so this thing is going to be well suited for that so we will stream that on Thursday uh, where we'll be taking this coach around the island so we'll get this to our uh, destination and then we will end for this evening it's only going to be an hour or so's uh, video slash stream just wanted to uh, put it through its paces show you the range of coaches And I'll put a link in the description below if you're watching this on YouTube to uh, where you can purchase it on Steam or get ready to purchase it on Steam. Oh, 
one of those guys that following in real life you just get really frustrated with him well I would anyway alright 14k to go the outside of this and I'll go back through the range uh, again actually it's saying Oberhof arrival because it's taken me to pick passengers up from where I was and if that's the case it's only around the corner so I might actually pick them up and uh, drop them off. Somehow it wouldn't let me spawn in at Oberhof. Okay, you're going to sit there, are you? Good. It's almost like... Um, you can just chuck this thing anywhere. Including into oncoming traffic. Right, my passengers have been waiting a while. So let's pick them up, shall we? Hang on, I haven't plugged the thing in yet. Wait with me. Uh, you're going to the hotel thing. Yeah, okay. Alf Gates. Uh, not Alf Gates, but okay. You. Hello, here is my ticket. Thank yeah, you're going to the Treff Hotel thing. You. Yeah, get on. You. Yeah, get on. You. Why would you want to buy a ticket? Why couldn't you actually... But no, it's fine. I'll use my data. I'll buy you a ticket. You just you know, stand there looking at me Thank stupidly. You yeah, no problem. You. Sorry, I didn't mean you. I meant you. Hello. Ich benötige noch ein ticket no, no, it's fine. No, I'll just do the same for you. You could have interrupted me and said, can I have two of those? But no, it's fine. Danke. Uh, no problem. Hello. Is this good too? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Get on. You. Yeah, get on. You. Yeah, you get on as well. Nice hat. You. She's got the same hat as you. Uh, you. You're going to shop. Oh, no. Uh, why would you do this to that? Okay. And you. Yeah, so there we go. So this is the smallest version um, of the coach. Um, and I think it's brilliant. I think it's, uh, this is the, the sweet spot for me. Uh, it is really, really nice. Um, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, uh, and you, welcome aboard this uh, Simpson Stuff Flixbus service going to the Treff Hotel Panorama. I've got no idea where that is. Um, hopefully we'll depart here and not fall from the sky again. Um, it shouldn't be very far, um, so hopefully you don't die along the way. Okay, let's set ourselves down. Uh, neutral. Right, so start ride. Um, right, charge light on, passenger light on, reading lights on, don't really need them though, do we? Uh, passenger monitor on, restroom clearance on, Wi Fi clearance on. Uh, Hallo, we'll play the announcement. Und herzlich willkommen bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt kommen, hier ein paar Hinweise. Auch bei uns im Bus gilt die gesetzliche Anschnallpflicht. Bitte schnallt euch deshalb während der gesamten Fahrt an. In den Sitztaschen vor euch findet ihr unsere Bordkarte mit weiteren Sicherheitshinweisen und Infos zu unserem Snack- und Getränkeangebot. Eine Toilette befindet sich im hinteren Einstiegsbereich. Wer kostenlos surfen will, wählt sich einfach in unser WLAN-Netz ein. Unser Reisetipp fürs Internet? Schaut doch mal auf unserer Facebook-Page vorbei. Unser Team freut sich riesig über eure Likes und Nachrichten. 
Sollte euer Akku zu Neige gehen? Kein Problem. Viele unserer Sitze sind mit Steckdosen ausgestattet und entsprechend gekennzeichnet. So könnt ihr euer Smartphone die gesamte Fahrt über nutzen. Wenn ihr eure nächste Fahrt auch gleich mobil buchen wollt, holt euch einfach unsere App und profitiert von exklusiven Online-Angeboten. Auf flixbus.de steht Städteverbindungen Städteverbindungen für euch bereit. Natürlich wollen wir unseren Service ständig weiter verbessern. Für Feedback zu eurer Fahrt, It's not bitte malfunction. den Fragebogen, den wir euch oh, per E-Mail zuschicken. Wir danken für eure Aufmerksamkeit und wünschen eine entspannte Fahrt und viel Spaß an Bord bei Flixbus. Hello and welcome. stop behind something. So yeah, this is the perfect little length, this thing. It's just awesome, isn't it? That's just absolutely fantastic. Well, from the traffic's bad. Entire journey. In the seat pocket in front of you, you will find our information card containing further safety instructions and details of our snacks and beverages. There's a right, restaurant go, go, go. located in the rear boarding area. If you would like to browse the internet free of charge, simply log on to our onboard Wi-Fi network. If your battery runs out, no problem. Many of our seats are equipped with power outlets, which are marked accordingly. If you would like to book your next journey while you're on the road, simply download our app onto your smartphone so you can take advantage of our mm, many Wi-Fi is definitely on. Online discounts. For more information, I think the fall from the sky broke the Wi-Fi. Or get in touch with us on Facebook. Of course, we're always striving to improve our service. Please use the questionnaire we send you by email to give us feedback about your journey. You can also use it to share your suggestions, ideas and requests. We are always ready to assist. And now, we can finally set off. Thank well. you for listening. We hope you have a relaxing journey and enjoy traveling with Flixbus. You say finally set off. No one can move. She asked what the password was, and I think about it being broken. I don't know the password. Try the word password. Um, okay, so... The traffic behind me is causing a blockage there, which means this traffic can't go, uh, which means that traffic can't go, which means we're stuck. Gives a chance to look at the coach a little bit more anyway. Um, yeah, they're all really, really well modelled. We're only 8k from the destination, so we will end when we get to our destination, if we get to our destination. And we'll be back again on um, Thursday with some more tourist bus. In uh, this little coach whizzing around the island of Fuerteventura, what could possibly go wrong with that? Now you think the um, I think the AI would despawn, really, wouldn't you? Because it's just not going anywhere. There's barriers, there's bollards up on the road up there, so I can't even risk going up there and trying to negotiate my way around the junction because the bollards are in the way. Yeah, we definitely seem to have a bit of AI uh, gridlock. Let me. Um, okay, let's uh, let's just try something, shall we? Yeah, that's not a thing. Accident. It's fine. It's all good. All right, coming through. There we go. Wo finde ich das WLAN-Passwort? 
Your concern after that is the Wi-Fi is not functioning. Right, so we're off to the uh, Treff Hotel Panorama, uh, which is where we'll end the uh, end the video and the stream uh, if we get there alive. Um, she's just round the corner here. Which is just here, in fact. So it's quite good having something different to drop off to. I think I'll take a bit of a cue from tourist bus there. You slept the whole ride. Wow. How did you manage that? Um, so there we go then. Oh, the car appeared. Um, I'm going to end that there. Um, yeah, quick little first look. Certainly a drive in the uh, in the 148. And a little drive in this thing, which I this is awesome. Um, it's uh, yeah, the perfect thing for um, well, firm bus uh, and tourist bus uh, out for both uh, on the 25th of this month. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll link the Steam page in the description below. Um, but yeah, gonna make uh, a brilliant game uh, even more uh, brilliant, in fact. So I'll leave that there. I'll be back uh, tomorrow night streaming some flight if you're watching this live. And then back Thursday night uh, where we're going to take this thing around the island of Fuerteventura. Um, what can possibly go wrong with that? Thanks everybody for um, joining in with the chat. Hopefully you're enjoying this as much as um, I am certainly uh, certainly am. I'm looking forward to it in fact. Uh, thanks to Chaos for uh, resubscribing. And I'll be back again uh, tomorrow night in a plane. Until then, if you have been, thanks very, very much for watching.